Hello. Thank you. Appreciate you again. Huh? I appreciate you. Oh, You're just multitasking like I don't know what. Say hello. Hello. Why is she so precious to me? You sure can? <laughs> Blue right. mm -hmm. Mountains. All oh, the sounds of Titus Shower's name on it. Want to say thank you so much to AMP Records. Had a great time in Louisiana this past weekend. Titus Showers, mm -hmm. Jokia Williams, Ah, Deidre Hayes. Yes! <laughs> Come on, man, raising up a new level of gospel music listeners. Can somebody say show you right? Hey, joining me in the studios is Pop Tart and Snickers. Woo -hoo! <laughs> say hello, Tanka. It's making his debut on radio this morning. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And also joining me in the studios is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, I am yeah, Deanna Dixon, also known as Chef DD. All right. Want to say good morning to you. We got a lot happening this morning, so we ask you that you stick and stay. Oh, because more is definitely on the way. Keep it locked. W N R. Hi. Great, who am I speaking with? Oh, hey, DA, hold on one second. We're going to go live. The next time you hear my voice, we'll be live, okay? okay. Eat it, baby. Blessings and welcome back to Shatan the Kelly Gordon Show. As you know, over the weekend we lost one of the gospel greats, and as you hear me say, it is the end of a era. Um, today we're paying honor, as we will all week long, to the late Keith Wonderboy Johnson. And joining me live via telephone is D.A. Johnson. Blessings, man of God. How you doing? My heart's still aching, man. My heart's still aching. Amen, amen, amen. You know, um, I was thinking the other day, I, I can't even remember how many years it has been since I initially met Keith Wonderboy Johnson. I think it was during the time um, Be Right came out. That's how long it has been, right? And, um, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, he joined us here in Augusta for our family fest. And then the last time I saw him was at uh, the Stella Awards, where um, we presented together in a segment along with Darlene McCoy. And um, when I got the news, the first thing I did was call his phone, no answer. Then I called Carrie, no answer. And I said, uh-oh, oh, I got to call D.A. And when you confirm that to me, I promise you, my heart just sank down to my shoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. So what does this mean for quartet music? You know, I said that this is an end of an era because when we look, um, you know, that he, Keith has just transcended so so many and he just he just transcended so many levels and you know i often tell people especially those in quartet you know there's find somebody to pattern after business wise as it relates to trending musically because he stayed relevant and he stayed on the charts and so you don't find too many quartet musicians or quartet artists who continue to do that so what does that this mean for uh, quartet music as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Amen, amen. So how many songs did you help him promote over the years? It was you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. And I do appreciate um, not just the man, but the, the, the gift behind the man. You know, I was sharing... Um, earlier, no matter what I had going on uh, here at the station or with the show, he was there to support, and for that I appreciate. You know, because you don't you don't find too many people giving of themselves as such. And he maybe sometimes he'll come through the city and call, "Sis, you got anything going on?" And you don't find too many you don't find too many artists that that do that and just willing to give themselves like that to share themselves. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Amen, amen. You know, I, I just couldn't allow this time to go by without um, honoring him and honoring his music and, you know, just inviting people who literally knew him and worked with him and, and genuinely loved him um, to come on and to share. And I keep telling the body of Christ, I'm going to keep you all posted on what's going on, keep you posted. So, um, you know, let us know when the homegoing celebration is and what we as a radio station can do to support the family or just the cause because, you know, we still got to keep the music moving forward because that's his legacy. Mm -hmm. the Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much, D.A., for just taking time with us this morning on Shatan the Kelly Gordon Show. And again, whatever we can do, just know that we are here. Amen. God bless you. That's D.A., former friend and colleague of... The late Keith Wonderboy Johnson still doing great things in the industry. And I, again, my heart is just broken. And um, we know that this is life. Things happen. You know, I just said earlier, and I say all the time, God do not make any mistakes. But, you know, one thing that um, Keith's passing have made me realize is that, you know, you just never know when the last time is the last time. And for me personally, I'm going to live my life like it's the last time. I'm not taking no wood nickels. I'm not going to stay in that place of unhappiness and of uncertainty, woman of God. It's just time for us to live according to what yes. God has mm -hmm. assigned for us and to us. So we got to do this thing. I mean, we just, you know, God has given us a mantle in this season. Mm -hmm. look, look over there. She, she, she's rocking the baby over here. <laughs> Thomas D. Anna Dixon. I know. I bless the Lord for it. But, you know, it is. This This is just a wake-up call, I think, for the body of Christ because, you know, sometimes people can look like they got it going on on the outside, but on the inside, something else is totally happening. So, nevertheless, we're going to be happy. We're going to trust God. We're going to bless God for Keith's life as we prepare to celebrate him. And I'll definitely keep you posted on when the homegoing celebration is. Hey, don't go anywhere. So Miss Deanna Dixon is with us. Um, your music is definitely on the way. I got to find it. We had to catch up. Last time I saw her, she was cooking some good food for us. Yeah, and Keith was <laughs> Wonderwall was there. You yeah, remember? Keith was there. That's where I met him. Yeah, Keith was there. Well, that touched, you can ask him. Yeah. That touched me so in Amen. my soul. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw on Facebook and social media how everybody loved him, mm -hmm. I... First of all, I, I thank God for you for the God, opportunity to meet him. Mm -hmm. But by meeting him, I remember how calm he was, how powerful and polite. Mm -hmm. And a person of his status, a lot of people are arrogant. God, Amen. he's just true. But he didn't make me feel the way. Mm -hmm. He said, ooh, he said, this tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing we know, keep like the eat. <laughs> Can somebody say, sure, you're right. Hey, don't go anywhere when we come back. Uh, Summer Deanna Dixon, her latest, right here on Shatanda you Kelly so Gordon precious. Show. I love you. I don't even know you, but I love you because you're so lovable and precious. You know that? You know that? That's cute, right? Oh. Hi, you are precious too. You are so beautiful as well. Let us stay prayed up. Oh, she's smiling. You back like to school? Oh, you're my friend. You want me to hold him while you talk? Or? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Come now, you wanted to go live. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to wait till you start. Yeah. I love her. It's a, it's it's a happy friend. baby. That's, I, that's what I was telling her. It's a happy baby. And you too. Can I have a hug? It's a happy oh, baby. Say love. hey, everybody. Oh, I got another God. one that making the debut in radio today. <laughs> it's Pop Tart. Say hello, everybody. Say hello, everybody. Say hello. Tell everybody hello. Say how you doing? Okay. Um, pull that one down.
Do I put the microphone on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Welcome back to Shatanda Kelly Gordon Show. The sounds of Psalmist Deanna Dixon from her project, The Power of Worship. It's called Stay Prayed Up or So You Don't Pull Up. Come on, woman of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> How you been doing? You know what? I have been blessed. First of all, I just want to thank you for having me back on the show. Um, I miss you, woman of God. Amen. I, I saw you got a stellar show. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, bless the Lord. It. God Hallelujah. Bless you. God bless you. So, um, it's, it's been so much that have happening. Mm -hmm. But let's start with the power of worship. Mm -hmm. The reason why I entitled that, because the things that have happened the last year, or a year and a half, losing mm -hmm. dad and all his brothers at the same time. Wow. The whole year, plus his sister three months ago. Wow. So the whole lineage, I'm the last Dixon. So mm. I said, okay. And it hit me so hard, and God says, I don't want you to get in depression, oppression, suppression. Mm -hmm. I want you to go into a power of worship. Mm. He said, because in worship, you're going to find my power. And that is what all of us, you were just saying something, how, you know, Mr. Keith, Wonder Bar Johnson's death touched, it touched my life too, because it was like, a lot of people are going on with the Lord, but what we don't understand is for the ones that are staying here, mm -hmm. we got to go back to that power of God. Mm -hmm. No more entertainment, no more just, mm -hmm. it, it's like we've made church this mm -hmm. when God said, I need it to be that. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I'm at. It's mm -hmm. a worship. Mm -hmm. When you hear me, when you see me, there should be something that changed. Mm -hmm. Like right now, when I walk out that door, mm -hmm. I should be able to think about something Hallelujah. in that car that you said mm -hmm. or I said that changed our life, touched our spirit and our soul. Even with music, when I first came up on your show, and I think I was, um, you promoted Everybody Want to Be a Star, mm -hmm. I really didn't understand the power of music then. Wow. But I understand it more now because it's ministry. Mm -hmm. You see, I thought, okay, if everybody like it, I win this or I win that, then that's what it is. Mm -hmm. No, it's supposed to touch the spirit of a man mm -hmm. or a soul or a child. And so that's what I want to do. I want to be a worshiper, not just in singing, but in speaking and in living it. Come Amen. 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 And, 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 and that's that's it right there, because I think sometimes we forget the purpose of why God created us, you know, and the purpose of what he's assigned us to do. And of course, everything should be glorify him. But in this hour, our sound, our music glorifying us. We want to make people just move. We want to make them feel, but we don't want to evoke change or transformation. And let me tell you, I see so much entertainment in the gospel world that it's just it's sad because when you start seeing people when you start seeing a song make people move like they moved in the world something wrong with that well not only that my grandmother used to say if it hit your feet before it hits you heart your heart mm -hmm. that ain't gospel mm -hmm. and i'm so glad you said that because even with the music now i do want to relate to the younger people because i feel like we're losing a generation mm -hmm. but god did tell me he said Okay, this is, he just said this the other day, so I'm, apparently I'm supposed to tell this out like this. He was saying, Deanna, what is that scripture? Not by might, not by, but no, not by might, not by power, but by, by, by my, my spirit. spirit. He said, if it's not spirit filled, mm -hmm. then it doesn't touch his echo victor soul, mm -hmm. a man or a woman. I was like, that's what mm -hmm. you've been trying to get people to do. Mm -hmm. It's not about, awards are good, accolades are good. Mm -hmm. You can't take that from people. But at the same time, if it doesn't transform you, if it doesn't convict you, if mm -hmm. it doesn't make you think, if my presence doesn't do anything because I haven't been in history, presence come mm -hmm. on somebody hallelujah then what we doing mm -hmm. well what we doing is we you know we go again i say glorifying self mm -hmm. you know it, it's just like when people you ever seen people uh sing or preach and then the first thing they say did you hear how i preached that sermon mm -hmm. or i told the church up you did you hear now when they do that to me that's just straight up flesh yes. instead of saying you know someone drew closer to Christ. Mm -hmm. they, they're they glorifying what they do or how they evoked a response from the people. And that shouldn't be like that. And we see it happen every day. Well, let's just be honest. And I noticed mm -hmm. it, and I'm sure you have, and everybody out there that's listening to us, mm -hmm. the church has been conformed worldly mm -hmm. to where you can walk in. When I was a young woman, when I walked in and I felt the spirit, I didn't know it was the spirit. Mm -hmm. I would take out my gum, my gum. I would take out, I would just, you know, conform because I was like, oh, wait a minute. Something's happening here. I didn't know it was the spirit, mm -hmm. but I knew it was something in that church that I had to be in order. There mm -hmm. it is. There's no order. Mm -hmm. Now, with all due respect, we're doing 
doing our own thing. There's idol worship. There's mm -hmm. this. So we're not reaching people for real. Mm -hmm. Ke Dr. Kelly, we're not reaching them. Mm -hmm. And that's what God we're, is doing. Then we're entertaining them. That's a difference. So I spoke this mm -hmm. word because, you know, I, I flew in a prophetic for mm -hmm. two or three years. And he could tell you this. And even now I'm speaking. And mm -hmm. as you can see, it's happening. I said, in this season... You don't have to do anything. Mm. God's power is making people expose themselves. Mm. Isn't that what happens on every level? Because mm -hmm. he's showing us us. You see, it's okay to judge the other mm -hmm. person through righteousness, mm -hmm. righteous judgment. But what he's doing in this hour, I want you to see you. Mm -hmm. Do you look like me? Mm -hmm. Do you talk like me? Do you? And, and i got to say this. This is something he's been pouring on my mm -hmm. heart. And I've been guilty, and I thank you, Jesus, for changing my spirit and my heart. We have to love people back to life, mm -hmm. even when they mess up. Because in the correction, in the correction is where I'm mm -hmm. supposed to love you. He said, by my spirit, with loving mm -hmm. kindness have I drawn you. Mm -hmm. And we haven't been doing that. We've been judging people, and when they mess up, we've been bashing them and mm -hmm. breaking their Killing spirit. Them, yeah. I'm supposed to pick you up mm -hmm. when you fall. Mm -hmm. We are the only people on earth when we're wounded, we kill our soldiers. Mm -hmm. When I'm supposed to say, I got you, mm -hmm. I got you. Y'all look at this. <laughs> my brother say hey <laughs> he, you know, he, he the baby. <laughs> i tell you my you know my grandbabies all of them have grown up in radio and tv so they they're they're like either at work with me because i'm a full-time grandma that's just the reality of it Praise um God. just last week i had to go to court and that one right there now is is officially grandmamas right you know but, and, that, but look at that spirit you see yes. what we're talking about what yes we're doing? Watch, one day they're going to be preaching and teaching. I Amen. can see you now. You're going to be like, I might be an older lady. You're going to be like, she was holding me. Amen. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing, because you just never know what God has purposed you for. You know, even, you know, we forget that God even allowed Moses to go into Pharaoh's house to be trained up. Amen. You know, Amen. Even, even though he was birthed in Israel, he was trained in Egypt. But ooh, oh, that's, that's a word good. right there. That's good because guess what? That's a word right that's there. What he, and, and, oh my God, check this out. That is a prophetic word because I just said that. This is what I said. The enemy, and that's why we shouldn't do it too. Before you were who you were, mm -hmm. he said, before I formed you, mm -hmm. I knew you. I know, okay, 30 years ago, I was doing no good, talking no mm -hmm. good. Even as a Christian, God, God mm -hmm. has, and I, I, I know you can see the growth mm -hmm. and the maturity. Because we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just because a person is not there yet, mm -hmm. you don't know who God is training. And hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So we need to stop that and, and keep keep help God training them by speaking life. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to speak life to you even mm -hmm. though I see the spirit of death. Mm -hmm. I see the spirit yeah. of confusion. Yeah. I see the spirit of adultery. I see the spirit. I must still call you mm -hmm. forth. You are a man of God. Mm -hmm. You are a woman of God. You coming out that thing. Hallelujah. We're too busy speaking death, the thing to yeah. them instead of life. And what does it say in Proverbs 18, 21? Death, death and life is in the power of, of the tongue. tongue. Mm -hmm. So what are your tongue speaking? Mm -hmm. What are you speaking in this hour? Mm -hmm. so, and God yes. has given us the ability to call those things that be not, not as, as though they, they were. And, 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 you know, I think most of the time we're speaking out of emotion. There it is. We're speaking out of emotion. And I have been guilty. Let, let me just let me just say this. I have been guilty of speaking out of emotion. And, and the Lord has rebuked me. And I had to go back and apologize. Not that what I said was wrong. But it was the way. It was the way yes. I said yes. it, the way I released it. And now, even now, I am studying to be quiet. You know, Ooh, I, I I just got a call that's yesterday, powerful. and I was talking to someone. And they was like, well, how's everything going? And I just didn't say nothing. Well, look, you haven't addressed the issue. I said, because right now, I, I'm quiet as relates to that. And my mom told me about three weeks ago, she said, um, if you want God to do something, and you believe in him to do it, mm -hmm. instead of out of your emotions and frustration, saying something, just hush your mouth and let God complete it. That's been the word yep. for this whole year, and you can ask him. Mm -hmm. God has been telling me, he said, be quiet. If I say not to say it, don't say it. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you this, and he showed me this about maybe two days ago. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I know this is God, by the way, so let me go ahead and get this out the way. And that's why I say, Lord, mm -hmm. he, he really, he don't let me get away with anything. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kelly, I owe you an apology. I didn't always do things right by you. know I got to do it this way. He said, mm -hmm. I heard it again. I don't care. I don't care about people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't say I don't care about y'all, but I'm just saying I got to do what God said do. 
we have to be mindful mm -hmm. of the gifts that God give us. Mm -hmm. We have to be mindful of the people that God mm -hmm. sent us. If, 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 and then if we have a problem, we mm -hmm. go to that person. person yeah. Not listen to that person or that person. And so I repent to you in front of everyone. Thank you for even after everything that has happened, you still show me favor. You mm -hmm. still called me here. You still told me I care. You still mm -hmm. told me I'm there for you. That's love. That's what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. what we're supposed Hallelujah. to do. And it's not a show, everybody. This is real. Amen. I'm, I'm going to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, and, and the amazing thing is, you know, sometimes you can, like for me, I, I didn't notice anything because I, I understand the time and seasons of God. And when you've done what God has commissioned you to do, your hands is clean. So I didn't even know. You understand? And I think I'm listening to, and, and that's what we need to stop uh -huh. doing too. When we listen to this one and we listen to that one. Mm -hmm. and we, no, no, no. As a matter of fact, I was listening to um, Reverend Spry. He said, when a person come to him with negativity, he said, mm -hmm. hold on, I got a committee for that. Mm -hmm. find, find them. They out there. Uh, they out there somewhere. <laughs> you can always find somebody to get joined up in mess now. You really can. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, and again, we're all learning. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're supposed to do. God is purifying this church in mm -hmm. this hour. Mm -hmm. God is doing something different. And I pray that we catch on. Amen. Quick, fast, and a hurry. Because All tomorrow right. is not, not promised. We see that every day. You know, people dying ain't never died before. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. But I tell you, I miss Mr. Johnson. Amen. I know I met him just one time, but that's how much he touched me. Mm -hmm. His presence, he was he was so humble. Yes. Most people of that statue, like I said, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. It is. Yes. It is. It and and I, when I looked at the gospel community, how much mm -hmm. he was loved, I mm -hmm. said, oh, my God. Now, I will say this, though, and I feel led to. Mm -hmm. I really think that he should have been more um, extended. <laughs> Right. See, we don't do that. And, and I'm, I'm going right. to tell you about a post right. I saw. Hold on. I got to say this. I, I saw a post mm -hmm. where somebody said they wish that they had spoke to him. I thank God. I, I spoke to him mm -hmm. and told him how much I like that song, Be Right. Because mm -hmm. I've seen that happen, and I've been guilty too. And I'm about to put it on blast because mm -hmm. we all have done it. Let's say this big star, like Michael Jackson comes, mm -hmm. all right, or the same mm -hmm. quality, status. Mm -hmm. And they have a little star. Mm -hmm. We're put me because mm -hmm. I ain't there yet, right? Most people are going to pass D back, mm -hmm. but they're going to go to this person. Mm -hmm. But you don't know if God have a word. Oh, or you don't know where God going to take that person. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We got to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. We got to, and, and you can't do it unless you move by his spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to do. We got to crucify this flesh, everybody. Mm -hmm. we, we've got, we've done too much. And, and just be still. And like you said, that is the spirit of God right now. Mm -hmm. Be still and listen mm -hmm. and be quiet. Mm -hmm. But the main thing you said also, we move in too much emotion. Mm -hmm. That's why people are getting killed in anger and rage. Yeah. The emotions, no. God said, mm -hmm. don't trust your heart mm -hmm. because it's the most deceitful thing. It's the deceitful thing. thing it is. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So wisdom Amen. Is the sermon. Yes, ma'am. Amen. We're going to take a quick, quick break when we come back at the top of the hour with uh, Psalmist Deanna Dixon. I know her as a prophetess. I know her as a chef. Amen. Oh. And I know her as a psalmist. <laughs> Amen. We're going to discuss her latest project. It's called The Power of Worship. Hey, don't go anywhere. More to come on Shatanta Kelly Gordon Show. All right, you we're going to take a break, you guys. I'll be back. God bless. It's only two minutes. You could have kept it going. Okay. It's, it's still going. We want to come. We want to give them a... Uh, toy. I can't believe she's staying with you. She like you. Look, you guys. Look how precious. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Look, you guys. Y'all know I love babies, right? They're my best friends. Because y'all adults. I love y'all too, though. So, look, smile. Look, smile. She looking at her grandmother, you guys. <laughs> I can get her to smile watch. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh, there she go, y'all. There she go. <laughs> <laughs> but she really looking at her grandmother still. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I might be here. <laughs> but that's why I love you. You see, you're still happy. You see? Say hello, everybody. This is my snickerdoodle right here. 
Say, how you doing? So I'm at the doctor. This is Grandma's Lily. This is, she One says, what she says, princess, I'm Sorry. a princess mm -hmm. in training. That's mm -hmm. Grandma Tanky Wayne. Like Say good morning. You gonna say hello? You speaking? Hmm? <laughs> That's him. Girl. Oh, so precious. Oh, uh, huh? He just turned four months old. He likes stretching his legs. Oh yeah, he like jumping. Is that what he is? Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, y'all gotta see this. Go, do it again. Jump, jump. Do it again. Jump, jump. That's my brother, you guys. Jump, jump. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you guys. I know it's early in the morning. And then, and look at her other granddaughter. So precious. Look. You get ready to go back right now. Hear that? <laughs> and she got my CD. <laughs> now that's the one. Remember when? That's why I threw it on there. Mm -hmm. Is it on this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tank. <laughs> it was so bad yesterday. You know, God will give you a sermon in the midst of everything, right? Ooh, that boy had a blowout yesterday. It was so big, at so much. I really had to take a picture, right? It was out. It went down his leg, down everything. He eating food. He eating baby food. <laughs> oh, look, he got his tongue out. Oh, he having a good time with Prophet Ryan. Welcome back to Shatanda Kelly Gordon Show. That's Prophetess Psalmist Chef Deanna Dixon. Thank Amen. So and this is Everybody Wants to Be a Star. Actually, that's the first song, the yes. first single that you released initially. Yes. Amen. Yes. So um, let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about the power of worship. You know, what inspired all of this? Okay, so basically... Um, Dad was dying, mm -hmm. and he said, you need to finish this project. He said, you have it. He said, you just need to get focused. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I know you listen to I'm a Conqueror. People really mm -hmm. like that one. Um, it took me to another level, mm -hmm. especially after he passed. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this because Dad was a musician. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. Dad, Dad was a trumpet player. He played with Tyrone Davis. Mm -hmm. Mom was a singer, but Dad had a trained ear. Mm -hmm. So he said, I know you think. Mm -hmm. He said, but you just, because it's gospel, mm -hmm. you have to go to a level of God so you can push it out. And that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened when I went in that studio. Mm -hmm. I started hitting those. Mm -hmm. I and I've never hit. Oh. I, I was like... And so I was like, okay, Dad was right. And so I wrote mm. I'm a Conqueror in five minutes. Mm. Right mm. after I talked to Dad, I went home because he was at the hospital. Mm. And I, I wrote and I started writing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I just got a record deal with uh, MF Records. I know it sounds weird, but that was the initials of somebody's name. Ah. And so he's out of Spain. Mm -hmm. And he contacted me. We had um, via Zoom. And he said, I want you to do this. I want you to go global. And so I'm working on the next um, album is Maranthia. Mm -hmm. It's like when Jesus, it says, Lord, Jesus come. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. And I'm going in the studio Saturday and do that first one. I'm going to let you guys know right now, that's a global hit. I Amen. Say, oh, I, say, I say, but it's under, you know, that's fine. Uh -huh. Amen. It's, it, it's a praise break. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because you gave the confirmation. You didn't mm. even know. I'm going to start it off with, it's a new day. It's a new era. Did you not just say that when yes. we were talking? Yeah. So I listened and said, oh, my God. So I'm excited because Mr. Ted Peters is also, um, I'm going to Spain to mm -hmm. record. So I'm like, did he just make me an international gospel Yes, got to do it. Got to do it. So mm -hmm. I'm excited because I know that I'm, I, I'm still learning. I'm mm -hmm. still growing. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm exercising my voice, exercising, period. You know, so mm -hmm. it's a growth. And oh, not only that, I, I might as well say it here. I joined the church. 
I had right. been out of church since 2015 because okay. God was taking me on a prophetic backside. Mm -hmm. So I joined a church, um, Second Shiloh, 128 years old. Okay, Long man. So short, I'm getting ready to be the praise um, leader and worship leader. Hallelujah. Look at so, God. As a matter of fact, I've been singing every Sunday. I just didn't go live because this is how he been doing me to see if I could sing. <laughs> I come in. He don't tell me I'm getting ready. I, I'm singing at night for the revival. Uh -huh. He just say, he just say, uh, you gonna sing? Look, and I just oh. walked in five minutes. He said, and you getting ready to go on now? I said, oh my god. Uh -huh. So then I had to go off the Biggie hill. you ready? Yes. And guess what, girl? The, the that put it this way. One of the older ladies, I love that church. She said, honey, you so full of R, you spit, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Now, so you got some rage because everybody wants to be a star. You rapping. Yes, yes. I can rap. I still can rap, too. Yes. And that's when I, now I did that one in 2008, believe it uh -huh. or not. Because initially, I wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> you know, it, she looks so poised and refined, right? It's hard to believe, right? But but you got skills. So how did that start? I mean, how did that, I mean, you, you know want to be a rapper? I'm going to be honest with you. I was singing since I was 12 years old. Uh -huh. I would listen to my mother's um, albums. You know, mm. they had them big albums in the day. My first mm. song. So I, I, uh, I did a, um, mm. a talent show. And I was the only 12 year old. And it was like a lot of older people. Mm -hmm. But they laughed when they heard me say, no game, no game. And I sung that song. And they wait till my mother. So when I got home, she said, what you know about no pain, no game? <laughs> that was Betty Wright, wasn't it? Yes. I said, Mom, I was listening to your record the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, so it's been on. But I didn't take it seriously, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, until Daddy died. I I'll be honest. Until mm -hmm. last year. It was like I had to, I had to grow up. I had to mature. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it took work. You just don't mm -hmm. get in a studio and, you know, oh, if you want to no. entertain, you do that. But when it's a power of worship, mm -hmm. God, how do I sing this? Mm -hmm. What do I do? But then let, let's really cap it off. You got to live it. Come oh, on, yes. Oh, you yes. got to live it. Because just like that lady mm -hmm. said, and it's not trying to brag, she said, you so early mm -hmm. to be slippery. That, mm -hmm. that touched my spirit. Especially this woman was almost 80 years old, so mm -hmm. she knows a little bit about God. Mm -hmm. And not only that. Like, I tell you, I've been singing on the spot. I never used to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about, I sung, soon I will be done last night. And I mean, I did a rendition I had never did. I, I was, I, I, you know, like, troubles of the world. I, I said, somebody, 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 help me, please. I said, help you and you. I, I, I had never did that. So when I got home, I said, he says, coming out of it because you spend time. Mm. Amen, amen, amen. And you actually did a, 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 a kind of a rendition or a contribute, a tribute to Mahalia Jackson I in your did. project. Yes, I did. Because mm -hmm. honestly, she is the one I love mm -hmm. the most. I love everybody. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. I love the Clark sisters. I love um, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But it's something about Mahalia. Ooh. Mm. When she sang, everybody had to bow down. Mm. Everybody. It's just such an anointing in her uh, in her voice that yes. it really shifted a, a generation, a culture. Because if you remember during that season, she sang at everybody's funeral. She Dr. Eat, Martin, Luther Dr. King. Martin Luther King. Yes. And when it came time for uh, national things, you know, corporate things, they had her in the forefront. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, now. Trouble. <laughs> Listen, because guess what? My uncle... My Uncle Charles, you uh -huh. know there's one in every film. Mm -hmm. He tells it like a T.I. is. Mm -hmm. and, and I can't believe I'm going to say this on air, but I'm going to. He say, I listened to your CD. He said, now before you used to sing, I have to tell you the truth. I was like, Lord, what you doing? <laughs> she said, he said, but you got it now. I can't, I can't give you a quick show because my hair is the queen. He said, but you got that thing now. He said, I don't know where you found it, but you got it. <laughs> I was just listening. I was like, what you say that? He said, I don't know where you found it, but you got it. Amen, amen. But, you know, so, but, you know, but Uncle thing. Charles gave you that check. Amen. <laughs> but see, what we failed to realize is that tribulation births another level of the anointing. And even, even in our giftings, the Bible says God will perfect amen. those things that concern him. And, and what he's talking about is those things that he's assigned your hands to do. He'll yeah. mature you for it. He'll perfect you. People think is, you know, I got everything right. No, no, no. He'll place a sound. He'll place a word. He'll place a purpose in your life for that moment that will shift. And when I say this, y'all better hear me clearly. It will shift a culture. It will shift 
a generation. It was a shift of people. And we see that with uh, Mahalia because when she sang it, she felt it. And when you can experience it in the voice. And that's what's missing. Wow. That's what's missing right there. You know, there's a difference between entertainment mm -hmm. and worship. When you feel it, mm -hmm. you feel it. And mm -hmm. what I started doing, even on this project, when I go into mm -hmm. the studio now, mm -hmm. the engineer sometimes have looked at me crazy. I said, can we pray? No. He said, you can pray. I said, no, can we pray? Because mm -hmm. you're touching it. I don't know. Don't stop me. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, I said, and if you don't want to pray, just touch my hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying. Because I need a certain, I need God to, you know. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even on Clarion Call, mm -hmm. this happened. And I know it sounds weird. When I finished singing it, and I sang it in five minutes, and, and really I thought I was going to do a couple of three takes, I still, I literally started crying. That never happened. Dr. Kelly, I started crying. And he turned around and said, why are you crying? I said, you don't understand. God doing something with my voice, with me. It was so powerful. Mm -hmm. I couldn't explain it to him. He's like, okay, she's crying for what? Mm -hmm. The presence of God was so much in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so... That's what we mm. need. Because only in the mm -hmm. presence of God can you be healed mm -hmm. and delivered. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't. Mm -mm. I don't have it in me. But if the presence is there, and I've been in this presence, oh, come on, yes. somebody, oh, yes. oh, yes. healed. Everybody can heal. Everybody can deliver. Everybody. And even if you don't see it, it it's something touching your spirit. You. Yep. Oh, she didn't start yes, it you. She Amen, didn't start amen. So did you do all the writing and the arranging? All the writing, okay. all the arrangements. And that's what Mr. Peterson said, the guy from Spain, um, he said, you did everything with no help? I said, hold on. God was helping me the whole time. Mm. Now, let me tell you about him. He has never had a gospel artist. He really thought I was a soulful singer. Wow. So when we talked, he said, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so it, it could have went a different way, but I, I said, sir, I have to stay a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. He said, well, can we mix, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe because he's Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. This first one that I'm getting ready to do is Spanish. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know. But yeah. listen, 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 listen. I, I see why he said that because even on this song with Mahalia, guess what I hear a little bit of? Billy Holiday. You gonna make me cry because guess what? That's that's good. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's a lot of, you know, and, and so I can see where he gets that from because I can hear, and, and for some reason, I can hear the same passion that she sang Strange Fruit. Now, you know, how did you know? I can't tell you that right now, but something's in the making with Strange Fruit. Wow. Girl, you couldn't have known that. Huh? She couldn't Hallelujah. Have known that. Hallelujah. She all down. All she in the glory. All in the Ah, <laughs> oh, to God be the glory. Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory. So, so, so I, I see that. But I'm so excited about what God is doing in you, through you, now and that's for you. Call right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and it, it calls, it, it's talking about the world, how we're just hurting right now. Mm -hmm. and, and the enemy is taking advantage of mm -hmm. it. We're all in pain. Mm -hmm. But God said, I got what you need. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. And that's what God is. It's the invitation. Mm -hmm. He's, he's inviting us, give me that mm -hmm. depression, give me that oppression, mm -hmm. give me that suppression, give me that pain. Because mm -hmm. that's why people are doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't believe everybody's just a bad person. I just want to hurt you. I just want to kill you. Mm -hmm. There's something that's compiling and driving them. And it's rage and anger, mm -hmm. but really it's a brokenness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're broken. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing, you know, you said that, but that brokenness is stemmed from... From action, from generation, some things yes. have been gone, yes. have been transferred from from generation. But then, too, in this season, too many portals are open. You know, I, and I know in the world of internet, everything's at our fingertips. But sometimes we can expose ourselves to so much. And the thing about a portal is, you thinking you're opening to one thing, right? But seven things coming on the other side that you have no control over, that you have no power over. And, and even I hear in the Bible, I think it's over the math, in, in the book of Matthew, it says mm -hmm. that when the house is swept and clean, the spirit that? will come and find and take with it seven spirits more worse than before. Before. Mm -hmm. before. And so what's happening is people are dealing with with, with foreign gods. Yes. They're dealing with foreign spirits that know not of. And, and you know, and what's happening is it, it got some people walking forwards and backwards at the same time. You, you know what? We're actually in the book of Joshua. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been preaching on for whole, all this year. Mm -hmm. We're Joshua, the new generation. Mm -hmm. But at the same token, one thing happened in Joshua's camp. Mm -hmm. Ahab. 
he, he touched the unclean thing. God mm -hmm. said, I told you not to do that. Mm -hmm. And what happened is when Joshua tried to go to battle, everybody lost. And Joshua would rent his clothes. He said, wait a minute, God, what happened? He said, because one of you touched the unclean thing. I'm about to preach mm -hmm. up in here. Guess what, what, what the church is? Mm -hmm. Because everybody else touched an unclean thing, we all get hit. Mm -hmm. it's, it, God don't look at you like Dr. Kelly. Mm -hmm. yeah. He look at us, the children mm -hmm. of Israel, my children. And mm -hmm. so we're, we have to start really correcting in love. Mm -hmm. Not hate, not anger, not bitterness, mm -hmm. not breaking your spirit. But sister, you're not doing that right. Mm -hmm. Brother, you're not doing that right. Mm -hmm. Because the blood is going to be on our hand. Mm -hmm. We haven't been doing that because we don't want to hurt nobody feelings. Amen. But then when they die and we don't know where they're going, then we're feeling bad. I should have, could have, would have. Mm -hmm. It is time to talk. It is time to speak. But it's time to move in the power of God. Mm -hmm. In this hour, judgment is in the house of God. That's what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody, and I'm going to say the prophecy. I don't know why God got me saying it, but I am. I gave a prophecy last month. It was a month ago, about five days, a month and five days ago. He said three famous pastors are going to be exposed. I think one of them has. And two gospel artists. I think you already understand. Mm -hmm. I don't have to say names or whatever. God said, I'm doing this because I want y'all to know playtime is over. Mm -hmm. So any of us can get it. Mm -hmm. Anyone could be exposed in this hour. He's not doing it to hurt you. He said, I'm doing it to purify mm -hmm. you. Hallelujah. That's where we at. Amen. And you know, and I was thinking too, um, you just said something so, so prolific. We, we often concentrate on the Joshua generation, right? Mm -hmm. But there was another generation that entered into the promise that was exposed not only to godly things, but idolatry things. Yes. There was a generation that was birthed in orgies. Yes. There was a generation that was birthed to parents that was on that golden calf. Yes. And so what has happened is, even now in the promise, because they have been indoctrinated with so many different Amen. belief systems and have Amen. acknowledged so many different gods, that now they've entered the promise, they're still, and this is where the world trying to bring a church in. That's or it. The, the world trying to bring itself or try to indoctrinate itself into the church. And so what we're experiencing now is a people who have been exposed to so much unrighteousness and so much ungodly things that even now as we're teaching, as we're preaching, it's hard for them to receive. And the simple reason why it's so hard for them to receive, y'all ready for this? Because mama taught them that way. Not only Grandmama yes. taught them that yes. way. Yes. And, and traditions of man have them so That's bound that it. they are literally busting hell wide open yes. while they preaching and teaching doctrine, while they singing in the church, all these things because they brought these things with them yes. and they won't allow God to purify their That's hearts it. because yes. you can't get your mind purified unless your heart, heart purified. Amen. So I think oh what's God. happening now and what real. was happening now, it's, it's hard for preachers and teachers and prophets to penetrate this this generation because they know everything or they, at least they think they do anyway uh, you know what and, and, that, and that's it my sister it has to be a humbling experience mm -hmm. Let, let's just you know and I think I've said it to my followers so then the other people can hear it too mm -hmm. when dad died it, it humbled me even more so because it, I had to see Deanna. Mm -hmm. There were some things that I had to get straight there were some things I had to do and most of all he said total obedience because Dr. Kelly, here's what's happening. People are being half. Well, I'm just, I'm just mm -hmm. doing. No, no, no. If you don't do it exactly the way God says, says to do, do it, mm -hmm. He cannot bless you. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about just in monetary because mm -hmm. everybody's building many kingdoms, but nobody's building up His kingdom. Mm -hmm. He said your house look good, mm -hmm. but mine is in ruins. Mm -hmm. My people are in ruins, and it's just what you see. We have to we have to allow God to not only purify our hearts but purify mm -hmm. the church. Mm -hmm. But it starts with leaders. You see, that's why there's about to be a shift. I'm gonna mm -hmm. say it again. There's about to be a shift of guards. Not that you didn't do it right, mm -hmm. but you just didn't do it All the right, way He yeah. said to do it. Come on, somebody, mm -hmm. how, you, how you doing? And that is sad because you didn't do it the way He said. It's, it's strictly disobedience. That's it. That's it. But mm -hmm. people think people right now. It's like we lift up men more than God. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be. It shouldn't be. Amen. 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 But if Christ, I tell you, I'm really enjoying this conversation yes, this God. morning with um and I and, and, and I know she going by Psalmist DM. But that's a prophetess, y'all. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. That's yes. she's a prophetess. And you know, and the thing is too, you have what people don't may not know that you have a very, very large following 
on social media that you are teaching, you're doing prophetic classes, you're, you've been doing a work so long. And let me let me say this to you. A couple of years ago, I preached a conference for you, right? Mm -hmm. Tell people how many folk got baptized in the pool. 50. It was about 50 or more. 50 or more. Yes. And not only that, after that, I think there were so many people that asked mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready to do that conference mm -hmm. again. So this is your invitation. Amen. I'm amen. Getting, I, I was going to try to do it this year, but it was so mm -hmm. much going on that God wanted me to do. He said, mm -hmm. stay focused on this. He said, but you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be something called with the power of God is mm -hmm. real. So I thank God for the following. But mm -hmm. as they follow me, make sure you're following God mm -hmm. first. And, and so I thank God for them. But at the same time, I just want to be right. Hey, it's sure you're right. <laughs> and and I, was, I was telling someone, I said, I'm pretty sure that particular hotel have never had. Oh, can I tell you something? <laughs> Let me tell you. You know, they called me this year. Mm -hmm. They said, you're doing a conference. They called me. You're going to do a conference? Amen. I, 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 I was going to try to do it, but, oh, you can listen to them. Oh, yeah, I'm listening. We're debuting the whole album, y'all. Please download it. Please get it. Amen. We're having a listening party here on Shatana Kelly Gordon's show. We're actually on, um, I want to fall in love with Jesus Christ. Amen. And as Grandma can say, you're singing acapella too, ain't you? I want to show people that. I, I just wanted to. I, people, let's just be real. It's, it's, it's working. And mm -hmm. you have to let people see the uh, true authenticity. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No auto tune, no mm -hmm. this and that. I know what's in me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've learned to do. I got to work. I got to push it out. Mm -hmm. I got to fast. I got to pray. Mm -hmm. I got to be obedient. Mm -hmm. Do it how we. Because he didn't want to tell me, so I wanted to at the end. I was like, huh? You want what? I could feel like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, yeah. So I, I listened to Jonathan Butler. Okay. And so I kept listening. And I kept listening. I said, okay, now let me do it. Come mm -hmm. on, amen, amen. But it's very powerful. It takes you on a journey. Stay prayed up so you don't pull up. Now, now, let, explain that title to me. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. That title is just like that. So many people, the young people say, "I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up." Mm -hmm. They even have songs. Famous mm -hmm. people have got the songs mm -hmm. "Pull Up," and a lot of people do pull up because you're emotional, you're mad, mm -hmm. you're angry, road mm -hmm. rage, doing this. Mm -hmm. And so, I wanted to say, "Stay prayed up." Mm -hmm. Now, also, just to be real, I had a friend, mm -hmm. um, still have a friend, and she had had a shirt, and I said, "I'm gonna do a song." I said, "So." You sell the shirts, and I'm going to do a song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I almost didn't do it mm -hmm. because it had that R&B twist to it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and God was like, but what, what is your spirit? Mm -hmm. Because anytime you do something with the spirit of God, then the spirit of God rests up on the song. Mm -hmm. So not only that, he was like, maybe the young people will listen to that and not want to pull up and not want to kill and not mm -hmm. want to steal. And, and believe it or not, it got on World Star, honey. Okay. And I mean, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of negative stuff, you know, like this woman need to sit down. But it was a lot of young people that said, all right, I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. and, and even if it was just one, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, that song has almost 100,000 streams. Now. Wow. Yes. Amen, they amen. Really, and God will do it sitting above all you to ask or think, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. I'm walking in it, woman of God. You know, and I, I, I was saying... In this season, God is showing me some supernatural favor. Yes. I mean, when I say supernatural favor, I mean every day, you know, just like like if, if you if I hear something if I hear fifty negatives, I'm hearing twenty yeses Positive. from God. Yes. You know, yes. and every day. God supersedes my thought process. I mean, stuff I hadn't even asked God for yet. Amen. Stuff that's in my heart. Matter of fact, God blessed me so the other day. I didn't even know it was a desire in my heart until I saw the possibility. That's what he's doing. And that's why, that's why in that season of quietness, mm -hmm. he's going to tell you to move, when to move. Because to be honest with you, he actually prophesied. He said, Dr. Keller will call you to come mm. for an interview. And I just looked at him. I didn't say anything because I'm learning not to mm -hmm. even, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever the case may be. And that's in any capacity. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that I am God. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at right now. But God said, I'm getting ready to move you and put mm -hmm. you in places that you didn't even think. Mm -hmm. No, no, let's just be real transparent mm -hmm. where they didn't thought you could go. Oh, so, now that's it right well, there. Hold on, hold now on. that's a preach right, John. Hold on. <laughs> let, let me go even deeper than mm -hmm. that. Where they tried to block, block you from. from. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think about even even being here, you know, I've been in this industry a long time and I've traveled 
from different markets to different markets. So this has never just been a hobby for me. This has been a profession, you know. Mm -hmm. And literally, I remember when people were speaking death on me. Oh, yeah, speaking death. The radio station wouldn't wow. go prosper. Wow. She don't know what she's doing. Not even understanding what my background was. Because sometimes when you go in a place, you just need to sit humbly. And let God no, exalt you, right? Yes, so, so I sat humbly, not even understanding what God was moving. And a man of God came right here and prophesied to me that God was going to put a, he saw God giving me, putting a radio station in my hand in six months. And it happened in less than six days. Wow. I had no clue about mm -hmm. that. But I remember, so I, I was one day, I was just going back and forth from here to the back of the building. There's 18 rooms in this building, okay? Wow. And I was crying, God, what you want me to do? I don't need, I got to need this and I did. And I cried and I began to pour out to God. And God began to send me strategically. Every time I needed something done here at this radio station, God would send the people to assist. No, I didn't say employees. <laughs> I didn't say employees, did it? I said the people. And... Everything that my hand has touched in Jesus' name mm -hmm. have prospered. Mm -hmm. This station alone, in this market, two back-to-back -back stellar nominations. Praise okay? God. Praise Eternity God. Media Group as a whole, WERM, WLNO, yes. and WNRR yes. uh, uh, have all been stellar nominated. Right? That's gone. And, so, well, and, and people think I got a big staff, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the favor of God. It's the, it's favor, the favor of the, the living God. You, favor is better than money. Ooh. I'm not saying I don't want no money. I'm not I need some of that too. But that favor. Give me favor because guess what? God appointed out and said, that's my child. Listen, That's listen. my daughter. That's my son. God has, put, God has strategically put me on platforms that have Amen. brought. I saw you, you at know, the stairs. Yes. And you were looking good by the way. Thank you very much. Church. And guess what? I knew they were gonna pop up. And that's why I, you remember when I contact you and I say blah uh -huh. blah blah. Uh -huh. So, because I, I was waiting, I was waiting, and, and, and God said she, she don't know it's out yet. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. Amen. And and I looked at oh, let me tell you, I, God want me to tell you something else in front of everybody. So I went back and I looked at a segment that you did before your last concert. Um, your um, at by the river, mm -hmm. you was on. The stage, the other station down here. It's KZK. With the lady, with the two ladies, the uh -huh. Caucasian lady, the black lady, and you. Y'all were talking about the event that was going to Okay, happen. okay, okay. Girl, I played that whole thing. Oh, that was you so powerful. Oh, you should have let my testimony that was in the studio. That was so yeah. powerful. Yeah. I didn't yeah, even, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know I was going to listen to it. I mm -hmm. just... See, does she know how powerful this is? Listen. It's like, the when I met you, when I first met you, I can see the growth. I know you mm -hmm. can see it, too. That was so powerful. Even the lady that was sitting next to you, she mm -hmm. started prophesying to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. See, wow. the Lord told me to be transparent, and I, I, I didn't understand why. Because trust me, I did not want to go on TV with five million people watching and say, "But he's been doing that." That's what he. Right. That's what I do. And, and people, I don't know if right. they think that because some people are doing it for attention. Mm -hmm. I. I'm like, God, you won't make me tell it all before I die. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. And I lost I said, but it's going to help that one person. That's it. Not the other people that say, oh, she just whatever, whatever. Right. But that one person is going, you know what? I did that. I went through that. I'm going through that. Listen, the phones, the phone lines in the television station start ringing. My phone was ringing off the hook. And check this out. It was with key people in leadership, not just in the church, but in the world who have been going through. Wow. And who said wow. to me, you just set me free. Wow. You just, you don't even know how much you have helped me. Mm -hmm. And I just began to cry. I began to weep because I couldn't understand, Lord, why you got me in the spot, you know? And when the Lord began to share with me that he was preparing me, not for where I am, but for where Maybe I'm going, going and who he is sending to me, it was so powerful. I'm headed to, okay. I, I've been on the move, right? I know. I know. I, I've been on the move. <laughs> I'm headed to the Bahamas this Sunday. Uh -huh. Couple weeks, I'll be in uh, in um, Kenya. Okay. All right. For two weeks, planting schools, wow. teaching leaders, mm -hmm. and having uh, uh, what they call a crusade, right? Wow. So God began to show me. He says, "Listen, because everybody that you deal with, it just ain't in the industry." Everybody dealing with, you know, that you deal with, they got all kind of different issues. And you got to be able to stand before my first ministry, who 
I'm here to restore and reconcile. I said, what you mean your first ministry? He said, the family. That's it. He said, I, I am reconciling and restoring because the, the enemy family. has been attacking family to work. Yes. We're at each other, this, that. Man, you know, for know, no reason. Know, and, and especially the husbands. Mm -hmm. Because if you break down the man, then everything else that's will follow yeah. because it's, it's the order of God. Mm -hmm. Honey, you in the vein. You in the vein yeah. because that's exactly what God is doing. God is building up because God says, that's my church. Mm -hmm. So he's empowering us. And that's what, you see, you said not just industry. Because this ministry. It's ministry. Why. But it's and ministry. when you take it as industry, that's what you're gonna get. But if mm -hmm. you do what God said to do, and this is just the beginning, honey. Hallelujah. This is just the beginning. You going because you remember you gave me my doctorate too. You remember amen, that? Amen. Right? Amen. I did so, what the Lord told me to do. Yeah, so God is doing so much in this hour. And guess what? You have to be ready. He said, mm -hmm. Don't get ready, but be ready. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, we, we didn't preach up in here. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell y'all something. If y'all watching, get your blessing because when the anointing is present, you can get anything you need. And don't look at me. Don't look at Amen. her as if in the flesh, honey. You got to look in the spirit and hear that thing. You got to mm -hmm. look in the spirit and feel that thing and say, God, I receive it. I receive it. I'm next. Mm -hmm. You, you won't deal with me like that or differently. Mm -hmm. It's a ministry. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to get back to. See, I'm going to tell you what didn't happen. The spirit of attention got people looking and saying this. But God said, no, I, I need you to do that. Come mm -hmm. on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's the thing. And, and again, I said, I believe because two things are happening in my life in this season that God is favoring me and rewarding me. So what are those two Cause, things cause I believe? Faithful. Faithfulness and obedience. There and, and faithfulness is no matter what has come my way. I have called on the name of Jesus. I have stayed in position. And because I have been obedient to his word, even when it wasn't popular, I've had to preach messages, even when it wasn't popular, I had to obey what he was telling me. Let me tell you something. It's humbling for, for God to put you in position and seem like you had to tell it all. And, and it makes you weak. Or it makes you seem vulnerable. vulnerable yes. Right? And it's like yes. I'm realizing in my weakness, he, he is, is my strength. Strong. And so I'm learning these things. And because the faithful one has found me faithful, he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek, seek him. him. Amen. And, and Amen. in spite of, I, I, let me tell you, I have t heard people tell me, and I'm talking about family members, you need to get a real job. Or you're a grandmama now, you need to sit still. I said, if I sit still right now, God will take my grandchildren. He will take them home to glory. You understand? Wow. Because I cannot make my... People know I love my grandbabies. I can't make them my gods. That's right. God That's didn't. It. God did not tell me to stop praying, preaching, prophesying. He didn't stop telling me. He didn't. He never said stop doing what I've called you to do. Now that you become a grandma, I don't have to do one or the other anymore. And then, let me tell you how how much this is confirmation. I'm not gonna say it all here, although they know what mm -hmm. happened. But that when that thing happened to me in April, mm -hmm. oh my God, oh my God, that that I mean, it was just it was that. He said. I don't want you to be other people, God, mm -hmm. especially your family. Mm -hmm. And so I went through so much, Dr. Kelly. I, I'm writing a book called The Spirit of Joseph because mm. that's what I felt. Because, you know, it was a lot of family mm -hmm. stuff. And I was like, God, it, it wasn't the outside that did it to me. It was the inside. He said, but what did Joseph do? He mm -hmm. said, I let him prepare so that he could be a blessing, not just mm -hmm. to his family, but to the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Egypt, Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. So we're actually, the people of God that have been going through, we are in the spirit. Je um, mm -hmm. Joseph stayed in prison eight years for mm -hmm. something he didn't do. That's what mm -hmm. Pastor Weiss, but he was learning character training. Right. He was learning how to stand. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people fall because you don't know how to stand. Because mm -hmm. you, you, you got to understand, in the stand, you're going to have some storms, mm -hmm. some rains, some this. And those people, mm -hmm. when you don't know how to stand and you're not firmly planted, mm -hmm. there it is right there. Have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. the word of God, know how to pray, know how to fast. Mm -hmm. That's where we're missing it at. We're not teaching people how to stand. Mm -hmm. They love God. People love God, but they don't know how to stand. Mm -hmm. They get offended fast. They get mad. They talk too much. I've learned God says, shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Even Ooh. if you feel that way, shut your mouth. Be quiet, especially in this season. In this season, it's a so, season. I'm just, you know, I'm mm -hmm. proud of you. I'm to God you. be the I'm glory. Bless. I'm proud of you too. Show you. It's still got a long way to go. 
All right. Still okay. got a long okay. way to go. Amen. Still got a long way to go. Amen. You know, and, and I bless the Lord, even with my trials and my tribulations, because I know that they everything's right. And it's working together for, for the good, good, right? Because God has called us for purpose, and I understand that. And then I'm realizing in this hour, if we don't want to be perfected or purged, there it is. we will never we'll grow. We will never go to mm -mm. where God doesn't want us to go. Because mm -mm. you see, a lot of people ask God, bless me, God mm -hmm. bless me. Can you stand to be mm -hmm. blessed? Mm -hmm. First of all, are you preparing to be blessed? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't understand that. Like, mm -hmm. for me, I know, I know you can see I got a range mm -hmm. now. That's because I started exercising. Mm -hmm. Like, I exercise three times a day, believe it or not. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm talking about stomach mm -hmm. area because I got to have my win. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't doing that before. How are you going to sing to the fullest and the excellence and the spirit of God if you mm -hmm. don't? So it's preparation. And that's just like if you have a job or you want a husband or you want a wife. We begging mm -hmm. for the blessings, but we're not preparing for the Oh, blessings. no. You just preach right there. Hallelujah. Yes, you have. And that's the thing. You know, we don't want we, everything. Everybody wants to think so instantly. You know, it's just like they get saved today. They say God called them to preach tomorrow Amen. without no preparation. And in my class on Monday, we were at, matter of fact, I'm just going to say, we were discussing the likes, you know, like, like John Gray, yes, you know, yes. mm -hmm. and John Gray, comedian, mm -hmm. um, television personality, he went from that. To pastoring. Mm -hmm. But then he's having so many issues, you know, with adultery and all this other stuff. And so the question became was, you know, what happened? And I said he wasn't prepared. There it is. You know, his gift. not annoying. Right. You have to be. His gift was made. Right. David. David never sinned after he messed with the mm -hmm. sheep after God took that sin. Right. God said, you're going to stop playing with me. And that's what God does. If you're not prepared, he said, uh, don't worry, I'm going to help you because I'm going to strip you mm -hmm. so you could be equipped. You see, the stripping has to be before the equipping. Right. But it, but it has to be stripped because he's taking stuff out and he's putting it in. Mm -hmm. But you have to allow yourself to process. And that's what, ooh. Mm -hmm. I, and then I, not I only that. And not I'm not going to say a name, but I'm going to say this. I, I got to say this, okay? I have to I have to be careful on purpose for both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of my good friends, she went to the Black Caucus. Now, everybody mm -hmm. know that's a national thing. Mm -hmm. One of the most famous gospel artists mm -hmm. showed up in their night clothes. Everybody, there's so much going on behind the back. Oh, Y'all are here, uh -huh. but not here. I'm telling you, I started at that table. I wanted to cry because mm -hmm. I said, she don't know what she's done. Mm -hmm. She don't because these powerful people, Maxine Ward. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it. But you really want to prepare, prepare. Prepare for it. Mm -hmm. And then, too, we allow people to push us where God is there not is. intending us to go. There it is. And it's not that he don't want us to, but he got to prepare us for it. And I, I, I think that's one of some of the issues with fallen pastors in this, in this hour. They got a lot of charisma, but their character's jacked up. They got gifts, but they don't have the anointing. And, and because the church, because we are so, have been, have been desecrated so, and we have been compromised, so we don't know the difference between the gifting and the anointing. Ooh, we don't even understand that Jesus ain't even you. present. Did you just say what I think you said? Yes, ma'am. Because that is it in a nutshell. There's a difference between the gifting and, and the, the anointing. anointing. Mm -hmm. He says your, your gift will make room for mm -hmm. you. But what he did say is that you can't stay in a room if you're not mm -hmm. anointed. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much demonic warfare that's going to come against your gift that if you're not anointed, you won't be able to stand. Mm -hmm. That's why people fall. That's why people have fallen. And that's why they continue to fall. Because they're thinking the gift can uphold them. Mm -hmm. The gift cannot uphold you. Your anointing. Because then you have to be obedient and you have to understand who God is. You know, and it's not to try to show off. So I'm I'm fasting for 21 days. But what I didn't tell you is I can go to bed at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I do. I don't know why. I'll be just working, doing stuff. God said, you still know you're getting up at 5. And hold on. <laughs> so, so what I try to do, I try to be slick. I ain't going to lie. Well, I'm not going to set the alarm. You know just I'm getting up at 4.30. Out. All of a sudden, I'm like, I can't. Like, I just look up and say, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, because you're committed. <laughs> and, and listen. And, and, it's, and, and what I'm saying yeah. is, it, it doesn't feel good to my flesh. flesh. But mm -hmm. once I get started, I say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Mm -hmm. Thank you that it's an honor that you're waking me up so you can speak to me, so you can talk to me, so you can prepare me. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? God is always trying to prepare us, mm -hmm. but we don't want to go through it to get what we ask for, mm -hmm. to get what we pray for. We want the blessings without the lessons. Come on, Ooh, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, that's a preach. There's been a lot of word going on this show this 
I don't know. Amen. That's what I told him. If y'all listening, uh, go back and give it to somebody else. And Amen. Share, I'm going to be honest with you. This, 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 this church, mm -hmm. I know we're supposed to be interviewing, but this, this, Amen. The Holy Amen. Please like and share. Oh man, oh man, oh man. You know, and, and I'm just excited about this season, you know. Um, I am too. You know, as I look back over my life and I think about, you know, I'm literally living in the manifestation of prophecy. Amen. Uh, and people always hear say, like, even when it came to the Stella War, the, 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 the apostle is dead and gone now. And I remember Apostle um, Donnie Rogers, years ago, we talked about like 25 <laughs> years ago, he prophesied that I was going to be, I'm going to win a Stella and all this other stuff. Now, now I laughed. I was like Sarah. I laughed. Mm -hmm. So why did I laugh? Because 25 years ago, there was no category for radio announcers. And wow. I knew I couldn't sing the ABC song on, on, wow. on, on key. Wow. So I knew it wasn't going to be for... <laughs> <laughs> before singing. So I said, Lord, this prophet don't miss it. Wow. That's exactly what I said. I, and I'm wow. laughing because I'm like Sarah. I ain't believing that because what, what am I going to be doing to win a Stella? Wow. Fast forward years ago, years years now ahead, I won a Stella Award, yes, right? You did. But yeah. not only did I win, that was not my first dream to win a Stella. My first dream was to one day present. My God. At the Stellars. Mm -hmm. So so I think I was more excited about presenting mm -hmm. than I was about winning. Now, winning blew my mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but presenting blessed my soul. That's You know what? I like that. That's a whole quote. That's a, That's hallelujah. Quote. But but you know what? And, and you just made me remind me of something. Years ago in California, it was about 2006, 7, or 8. I don't remember what year. It was three of us prophets. Mm -hmm. I was at Calvary Christian Center, and these two prophets, they were like real seasoned. They had been there 20 years. Dawn, and mm -hmm. I forgot the other one's name. And they took me to this church, and it was this dark-skinned guy in Oakland, California. He's a prophet. He said, mm -hmm. get up. He said, you got two ministries. You got a singing ministry, and you're prophetic in the ministry. And I'm not going to lie, because he didn't have a whole lot of people in this mm -hmm. church, and he didn't look like he was very, you know, whatever. I, I was like... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Y'all already know the rest God of the story, God, use the right? foolish things to confound you the words. You understand what I'm saying? And God yes, brought that back will. to him. He said, we judge too quickly. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody, that's a word for you. Amen. We judge too quickly. Amen. Amen. A lot of people doing a lot of talking on here. Let me see who's hanging out with us today. Shout Tyler, Donald Garbo, blessings to you. Um, Bridget Jefferson Walton, blessings. Dr. Angela Marshall, blessings to you. Bernard Whaley out of Charleston, blessings. Dr. Kimberly Green, Sharon Brown Maxwell. My cousin Tammy Leverett is hanging out with us as well. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, whew. Who, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's a heap of people on here this morning. Uh, Risa Crosby, blessings to you as well. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Please like and share um, the video. Bishop um, Weathersby, blessings to you as well. Rosalind Howard, blessings. Shirley Brabham, blessings to you. Tamika Smalls, Nick Starr, Marquise Francis. He on, on the road probably somewhere with Tamlin and David Mann. He be everywhere. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> But again, I want to say thank everyone for um, just making this all possible. Because I don't take nothing for granted. Amen. I don't think take nothing Daddy, for life. You. So this is what's going to happen. She wants to watch Coco Melon <laughs> on this phone, right? This is the phone that you want, huh? And you want to watch what? What you want to watch? Coco Melon. Coco, Coco Melon. It's on Netflix. Amen, amen. So Grandma got to wrap this thing up. <laughs> so her grandbaby, her Lily Manili, her Snickerdoodle can watch Coco Melon. <laughs> she is so grown. Grandma love her babies. You know, and, and that's the thing. I fussed when I, was, when I found that I was going to become a grandma. I fussed. The baby can watch Coco. Everybody can watch Coco Melon. And now I can't. I, I can't even imagine it's life. It's a different level of love. Yes, and it I know is. You know, I have a grandson. Yes, well, it I is. just before we go, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for having me. Thank you all for watching and listening. God Amen. bless you. And I just pray blessings over all of you. Be strengthened. Be empowered. Just continue to trust God, everybody, and smile. Tell them joy. Don't forget that joy. God bless. Amen. Amen. Tell them how to stay connected to your oh, social okay. media. Well, you can stay 
connect connected to me. Um, I am on Spotify, some is Deanna Dixon. Also on Facebook, some is Deanna Dixon. Prophet is Deanna Dixon as well because I work in the prophetic. Um, um, my website is www.psalmistdixon.com. And um, you guys going to see me. Trust me. God got some big things um, for next year. I can't even say I'm like that big. Thank you, Jesus. So God bless. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Buddy Price, thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning on Shatonda Kelly Gordon Show. I got to go. Y'all see, I got my grandbabies. That means we got something to do today. Guys, Hallelujah. Bless. And thank you so much, Prophetess. Psalmist, thank you so much. are you still cooking? Lord, I, I, I'm spiritual food. I mean, hey man, cause she can she can cook up some stuff and she got some cookbooks. You're yes, awesome. I you have ain't... a couple of cookbooks. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. So please visit her website and support. We're gonna take you out with Cordy Cortez and new music from E. J. Fields. It's called All Right. And please hang in tomorrow. I'm telling you, all week long we'll be honoring the late Keith Wonderboy yes. Johnson. So I have a lot of people yes. that are going to come in and talk with us. Plus, we are in the room with Sherwin Gardner. I'm headed to the Bahamas, man! <laughs> <laughs> Four days. Can somebody say hallelujah? Amen. Hey. That water so pretty. Amen. Amen. Just, Amen. just stare at it for me. You know, and, and actually, <laughs> and this is amazing because about right before the pandemic hit, I was with Clarita Jackson, uh, Hatton Jackson, uh -huh. which is the, the, the sister of Dietrich Hatton. Okay. I was cruising. I was preaching on the water. Prophecy being fulfilled. Look at that. Preaching on the water, right? So I went there for that. And then, um, you know, this is like my second adult trip to the Bahamas. I'm so excited. I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah. And I'm look, uh, and, and, and like yesterday we talked I talked to Sharon Gardner and this will be my first Caribbean praise party. Okay. My first. All right, and now, so that's what I'm about. you know <laughs> say what y'all want to say. Sometime in America we get lazy. But other countries their the worship is, is, is holy intense, holy, right? Because guess what? They don't have all what we have, mm -hmm. so they're more grateful, more right. thankful. And right. it's sad, but it's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah. So I'm excited because I pour out so much. This is now my opportunity for me to be filled. Amen. 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 So I am so excited. <laughs> I got to work with it get there, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. It's all right. I'm going to work one day and enjoy three days. You know that's what, that's what it hey, is. Hey, right? amen, amen. Hey, so I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning as we part up in prayer on Shatanda Kelly Gordon Show. God bless everybody. All right, you guys. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, girl, that was good. We, we always do that, though. It don't ever, it, it's not ever a, um, a regular um, session with us. I should have known that. <laughs> y'all have a good day. I got to let my baby watch. I'm Coco Melon. Love y'all.